The Massachusetts Pirates are rolling in their back of the friendly confines of the DCU Center in Worcester. They're taking on the Lehigh Valley Steelhawks who are searching for their first win. Hi, once again, everybody. It's great to have you with us. I'm John Mita Perel, joined by Mick Monninghoff and J.J. Roderink. Gentlemen, good to see you. And Mick, the Pirates offense has been rolling. Why have they been effective? They've been effective because they can score in the final five seconds of the game. They've done it the last couple times out. They were able to do it last week against Columbus. Big victory. It enables them to come into the night's game looking for their third consecutive win. If they win tonight, it equals their longest winning streak of the season. Yeah, they're going to be facing a Lehigh Valley defense. It's going to be up against it, J.J., because they have to contend with Marty Gilliard. He's one of the best receivers in the league. Well, he is, and he's really coming into his own in this offense. He had his coming out party the first game against Lehigh Valley. Three receiving touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. Look for him to keep growing. Look for him to do the same things tonight. They're going to need that if they want to keep this winning streak going. So it should be a fun one, Lehigh Valley and the Pirates. It's all coming up next on Nesson. Massachusetts Pirates football is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Arena football is back. The Massachusetts Pirates have kicked off their inaugural season and tickets are on sale now. Come tailgate with the Pirates and enjoy great music, great food, and fun for the entire family. Then watch all the high-scoring, hard-hitting action and meet your favorite players after the game. Home games are played at the DCU Center in Worcester. Single-game tickets start as low as $10. To get game schedules, more info, and your ticket to Summertime Pro Football, log on to MassPiratesFootball.com today. Are you plagued with pain? Feel uncomfortable doing normal, everyday things? At InBalance Chiropractic and Wellness, we strive to keep you in optimal health. Through the use of chiropractic care, massage therapy, and lifestyle therapy, our focus is on improving individual lives to become more active and vibrant. Your health is our number one concern. We practice to help you reach your goals. Our specialty is keeping your body in balance. You've dreamed and planned. Now you're ready to buy that home, to earn that degree, to take that trip, to build your business, to enjoy your golden years. And Cornerstone Bank will help you get there. We've built a strong foundation for your success. Let's build your future together. Cornerstone Bank, built on trust. And welcome back to the DCU Center. Good to have you with us on Nesson and listening on 98.9 Nash Icon, the Lehigh Valley Steelhawks in the visiting gold jerseys with the black helmets and the gold pants. They win the toss, they elect to receive. The Pirates, just a half game out of first place as Mick Detail in the open. Coached by Amir Ismail, and this one is underway. Headed towards the upright and wide right for the touchback. So Lehigh Valley on offense to begin the proceedings. Led by their quarterback, Caleb Walton. Six footer, 210 pounds. Done a nice job this year in terms of managing their offense. Charles McLean, Yosef Reddick, and FJ Williams are the wideouts. Also, Walton out of Lockhaven. One thing about this Lehigh Valley team, though, guys, they've been unable to establish any momentum. Yeah, they really have. They've got to get something going early in games to kind of get their feet underneath them and get some positive momentum. You get to this point in the year, you're 0 8. You just, no matter what happens, you always think things are going against you. So Walton will send his man in motion. Straight back to pass. He fires one, and it's incomplete inside the 10-yard line. Should have been caught by Yosef Reddick, who's out of Northampton Community College, just 5'7". Pass is thrown a little bit low, J.J., but definitely doable. Yeah, you know, as a quarterback, you say, you always got to come up with those. And it was a good route by Reddick there. It was a little double move where he faked to the post, went to the corner there. He's, it was all speed. He didn't give any moves, any wiggle in the route there, but good route. Got to get the ball up a little bit when it hits your hands like that, especially early. Got to bring those in. Walton facing a pass Mass Pirates defense, which is yielding five yards per play. This one is complete to McLean inside the 20 for a first down and more. Hit at the wall, and nice movement by McLean. The hit was made by Lamont Bryant, 
who's playing linebacker for the first time this year, usually receiver, and he is in the lineup, Mick, because Nick Haig is inactive tonight. And so it's Lamont Bryant and Tavares Dantzler, the linebackers. Also on IR, Sean Luisau and Pasquale Vacchio. So the top three linebackers not on the field tonight for the Pirates. McLean will be the man in motion. From the 19, Walton the deep drop, and it's caught inside the 10. Nicely done by Reddick, who's hit at the nine. Another first down for the Lehigh Valley Steelhawks. So I think one thing that Amir Ishmael was probably worried about, JJ, was this being a trap game because Lehigh Valley is winless and desperately searching for a victory. Absolutely, in a situation like this, throughout the week, you try not to let it interfere in your psyche and your preparation, but you know that this team really is playing with house money. They have nothing to lose, and so they're gonna pull out all the stops, and you certainly don't wanna be that first victor under their belt. Off to a good start. Walton looks confident. McLean will be in motion again. And this one is incomplete, batted away, nicely done by broken up by Cheatham Norrells, who's from Toledo, part of this heady secondary of Massachusetts. Norrells and Keontae Northington, and John Hardy Tuliao have all done a very nice job this year. They've been very consistent. And you know what, they have excellent ball skills, don't they, Mick? They do have excellent ball skills. The thing that really stands out is the fact that 21 interceptions, 12 of those coming between John Hardy Tuliao and or rather, uh, Keontae Northington. Six each for both, and also Tully out leading the team in tackles with 44 and a half. So inside the 10, here comes the rush, and it's incomplete. Well done. Coming straight up the gut was R.J. Roberts. Roberts, 6'4", 260 from Troy, and an injury for the Pirates as well, but Roberts had a jail break blitz going on JJ and Walton was flustered yeah that's one of the things you definitely don't want to see or feel as a defense the one thing that is good about that you get in the quarterback's head a little bit early he starts thinking about that when he goes back to the sideline that's Travis Dantzler who was shaken up on a play he is up he's having trouble putting pressure on that left leg it looks like and that's problematic because they are shy of linebackers tonight with Vacchio on IR Nick Haig inactive Dantzler having words with Charles McLean we'll see if Dantzler can come back in momentarily got a little pressure as he putting a little pressure on that leg as he walks off so that's a good sign Kalen Burnett will come on and play a little linebacker now. He was slated to see some time at defensive end, so Daryl Render moves up over nose. They also put Toby Jackson in the lineup at defensive end. It's on third down and nine. Caleb Walton with some pressure again to the end zone and broken up. Good coverage by Cheatham Norrells. As he locked down the intended receiver, F.J. Williams, a 6-3 target. Norrells read that perfectly, J.J. Yeah, he really did. You know, this is just a simple deep whip route or double deep whip route here. And not, not great spacing by Lehigh Valley, but Norrells really didn't fall for it, thinking he was going to wrap around that back part of the end zone. Just stuck with him right in his hip pocket. And a nice job there getting his hand in as well. So Spencer hurling in to attempt a field goal. 34-yard attempt for Hodling. Dicey snap. And Hodling converts the 34-yarder. So Lehigh Valley is on the board. Interesting in the NAL. Carolina in first place and the Pirates a half game behind them. Pirates with a 7-3 record. So Hodling will tee it up from the goal line after his 34-yard field goal. And Bones Bagante back deep to receive. Six yards deep in the end zone for the Pirates. This one looks like it's going out of bounds. And a souvenir for a fan who makes a nice grab. 
Someone's got to tell him that is a souvenir. He can keep yeah, it. Don't throw it back. Look, Give him another one. This isn't Wrigley. You can keep it. <laughs> he looked like J.J. Raderink back in the old days, Mick. Old days? Yeah, old days. Well, for me, that's a young day. Oh, but okay. For you, it's a young day, 